Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children all ages, welcome to the noisy outside apparently. Hey plane. Anyways, today I've been doing this. So this is the progress I've made on the yard. The problem is that doesn't look all that great up close. Far away it looks beautiful, but I ran out. By the way, this is two 80 pound bags. Got me only this much, so. Uh, and then I'm still going to use sand to um, either mold her or sand in the thing. But anyways, this is the progress I've made on the backyard. <sighs> so again, that was two bags. Going to need a whole lot of bags. <laughs> I should have just done paver bricks. I wonder if I should just do this around the edges then do paver bricks in reality. Oh well. Ah, but yep, yeah, so I got two more so I can do six more so I can almost complete that little section there. The other thing is, you can kind of see it here, it's not that smooth or level. I mean, it's not that smooth, period, because these guys got soaked in the rain, so some of it wasn't usable. Oh, I'm almost willing to have someone pay and do it now. <laughs> But my regrets aside, that's not what today's video is about. Well, kind of, again, this whole thing is a slash vlog, so daily vlog. But what it's really about is the alcohol. Today, we are looking at Mr. Stack's blue Karakako? <laughs> Karakako. Anyways, uh, let's see, it is natural flavor. So what is it, just orange? I don't know what Karakako is. Karakako. Hold on really quick, quit edit break. Let's see, uh, Karakako is the core flavored with, vehicles passing by, uh, flavored with dried peels of the Lahara citrus fruit grown on the island of dot 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 dot, island of something. So it's a type of orange then, huh? And it's more the peel than the actual, you know, good stuff inside the orange or whatever this is. Huh. So it's some kind of fruit. So I have no expectation then other than citrusy since I don't know what a Karakako is. Other like a giant volcano or is that Krakatoa? Nice blue hue to it. I thought that was the bottle. Well, the bottle's, well, is the bottle blue or is it just stained? Now my hands, I might, you might notice some of it stained from, again, the dyed cement. Oh, I could see, a cr ah, it's not gonna be level. I don't care anymore. Screw it, it's just gonna be dirt for the rest of you. <laughs> so let's smell. Hmm. Interesting. Citrus, yeah, just kind of a orange smell but it's different and I imagine because again the peel smells differently than the inside it almost smells more like the blossoms of uh, citrus because again here in Arizona or Phoenix especially uh, we do have lots of citrus trees around so during spring and stuff you can smell them for a while especially where I grew up the back had a park which had tons of citrus in it so it's during some times of the day during spring with a certain wind, you can just smell citrus blooms for days. It was beautiful, especially if you don't have allergies, so. Hmm, <laughs> but yeah, it's slightly different citrus smell. Not quite orange, something's off. Which again, we're dealing with a different fruit than what I'm used to, so. Hmm. Anyways, here's to <sighs> realizing the project's gonna be bigger than you thought. But at least you got it started anyway. At least you took the first step. So taking the first step on a big project. Wow. 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 Hmm. Again, I forgot to look at the almost non-blue bottle now. Uh, 30 proof, 15%. Yeah, that's no alcohol in it whatsoever. No, there's a hint of warmness there. Like that creepy guy in the office, something slightly off, but he's normal. He's a nice guy. You're just overthinking it. But um, 
No, there again goes down sugary. Again, a lot of these liqueurs are pretty syrupy to begin with, especially when served cold. So, so think of a heavy, not heavy, but a medium syrup taste. Um, and I don't, ah, bad example, you're thinking of maple syrup, uh, but a sugary, syrupy, kind of liquid, uh, going down kind of smooth in one gloop, and it's almost an orange cream taste, if anything. It's more cream and light citrus taste than anything. Because again, this is the peel. So blue, what are we? Natural flavor, yeah, it's almost more creamy goodness and sugary than say citrus or whatever this is supposed to be so nice ah i'm tired though i again i just got i don't have my watch on got back at one or two did this for a couple hours uh it should go quicker now that i know the process of making these uh things into cement but still whew. That's going to be a lot of work. Because again, I have a whole part of that to do. And even you can see the unevenness around those bricks I just placed down uh, half-handedly. Uh, hazardly. So I'm going to have to figure out. That area was slightly smooth. So the problem is going to be here too. I need to hook up a hose. Otherwise, that's going to be a pain to do with cement. Uh, oh well. Anyways, enough of that. We had our shot today. Now it's time for me to rest and that's not the lid. Ah, that's the lid. I just have random lids here. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I'll probably do, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that, I have been doing more live streams on YouTube uh, lately. So uh, watch around for that. I've been using doing that around uh, nine, 10 o'clock uh, mountain here in the States. I might, and I should, try to get into Twitch more. So the problem is, well, again, when I do on YouTube, people know, and there's a regular group of guys that come by and watch. So I need to simulcast, maybe. Anyways, all that aside, just to let you know, I am live streaming. Uh, regular videos are coming up now, as usual. Uh, anyways, yeah, all that aside, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.